Hi, welcome to the 30 second hammer tutorial. Today we're going to work on filters. We're going to do some basic functions, as in only allowing a certain team to do something, on pass and on fail for filters, and blocking out damage for players. So first thing we're going to do is the door. So you need to select your tools trigger for this, and create a brush where basically the sensor is going to be to tell the door to activate. Then once you have the brush made, select it and make it a trigger multiple. And under every trigger brush almost, there is a filter name. You can use this to block out players. So to, to create a filter, you need to create an entity and then make its class filter. And there's a couple different filters. The one for a team, we're going to use activator team. So you just plop that right there. Then there's a couple basic settings on here. There's filter mode, allow and disallow, and the filter type. Since this one is for a team, it allows or disallows terrorists or counter terrorists. I'm only going to allow terrorists to do this. On the allow setting, it will block out everyone else except terrorists. On the disallow, it will only block out terrorists. So they're the two opposites. So I'm going to name this relative to what it is, which is going to be T only. Click apply. And then now we have the choice for filter name here for T only. And now you can add outputs for the sensor to tell the door to open and close. And if a CT walks in here, the brush won't even recognize him. It just ignores him completely because he doesn't pass the filter type. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use the on pass and on fail functions of this. To do this, we need to create a second brush. We're in the corner here. Make this another trigger multiple. Now, like I said before, when you apply a filter, it only uses those filters. Everything else is ignored. But to use the on pass and on fail for this, under the output tab on the filter, you click add and then you have on pass and on fail. We're going to have these play a good sound and a bad sound, depending on who walks in. So we're going to name this good sound. And click sound name. Then you choose a happy sound. Then copy paste that and make a bad sound. Siren. Now, under the outputs on the filter, you click add. On pass, we want it to play the good sound. Because you pass the filter, you want it to be a happy occasion. And then, you want on fail, play the bad sound. Now, this is just going to do nothing unless we tell it that it needs to actually physically test the activator. So to do this, you go to the outputs tab on the trigger multiple, click add, on start touch, you select the filter, and then you want test activator for via this input. Now when you touch it, it'll test to see if you pass or fail that filter. If you pass it, it'll play the good sound. If you fail it, it'll play the bad sound. So the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to learn how to block out damage. I have an explosion set up right here to test this. So you want to create, once again, another brush and make this, again, a trigger multiple. And you don't want to apply a filter to this unless you want it to only work for one team. I want to work for both. Then you want to create another entity and make it a filter damage type. Now, for this, again, you want to select disallow entities that match the criteria. So we don't want to allow the damage type of blast. You'll notice there are a lot of damage types here. So you can mess around with these and figure out which one that will work for you. But blast is for enemy explosions that do believe HE grenades. So t now we need to tell the game that we want to use this filter to apply it to a player. So you select the outputs of the trigger multiple, 
and click add and you want on start touch exclamation mark activator now exclamation mark activator means that whatever activates it whatever meets this criteria is the activator and we want set damage filter and now we want to type in the name of this filter I'm going to name it no blast so in the with a parameter override of no blast so now I click apply and okay I'm going to compile this and I will see you in counter-strike so now we're in counter-strike and I join as a terrorist so I am allowed to open this door because I do pass the criteria to open this door so now if I were to walk into the corner where the pass fail test is it plays the happy sound because I do pass the criteria if I were to come over this button here it kills me because I did not have the filter damage set to my player but if I walk over into the corner now I can push this button all day and take no damage from these explosions they do nothing to me I am immortal to these explosions so if I suicide and come back as a counter terrorist now I do not meet the filter to open this door and for the pass fail test over here it plays the siren now because I am failing the test to pass the filter and again I still take the damage from this but I start it and I can't take any damage now now just remember that once you activate a filter for damage on a player that stays with them for the rest of the round I can't stress that enough that will be with them till they die so always have a way to kill them at the end of the round or make them win thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe the website is up and running has downloads all the tutorials and a lot more up there just for you guys there's links to everything in the sidebar and I'll put up a link on the video thanks guys bye